Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to find out the shape factor of triangular section. Consider a triangle having the breadth B and height H. As we know that the shape factor is the ratio of plastic modulus to elastic modulus. Let's first calculate the elastic modulus that is equal to the ratio of the moment of inertia of the section to the distance y that is the depth of the neutral axis. The moment of inertia for the triangular section is bh cube divided by 36 and the neutral axis is located at a distance of 2 h by 3 from the top and h by 3 from the base. You have to consider the maximum value for y. So the value of y for triangle will be 2h divided by 3. By putting the value of i and y in the elastic modulus formula and simplify the equation, we will get bh square divided by 24. Now let's calculate the plastic modulus. For that, we have a formula that the plastic modulus zp equal to a divided by 2 into yc plus yt. For calculation of yc and yt, we will split the triangle into two equal parts about the equal area axis. Consider the two parts of the triangle that is above from the equal area axis and below from the equal area axis. The height of the new triangle will become h1 and base will be b1. The total height of the triangle is h. So the height of the trapezoid will be h minus h1. We need to find out the value of h1, b1 and h minus h1. According to the property of triangle, b1 divided by b is equal to h1 divided by h. Separate h1 from the equation, we will get h1 is equal to b1 multiplied by h divided by b. As we know that area a1 is equal to area a2 that will be equal to the total area of the triangle divided by 2. As area a1 is equal to a divided by 2. The area of A1 triangle is B1 into H1 divided by 2. That will be equal to half into area of the full triangle is BH divided by 2. Separate B1 from the equation, we will get BH divided by 2 into H1. We have already calculated the formula for H1 that is equal to B1 into H divided by B. By placing the value of B1 in the formula of H1, we will get h1 is equal to b into h divided by 2 into h1 multiplied by h divided by b. Cancel b with b and take h1 on the other side that will become h1 square equal to h square divided by 2. To calculate the value of h1, we will take the square root of the both side so h1 will be equal to h by root 2. As we have calculated the b1 equal to h1 into b divided by h. We have already calculated the value of h1 by putting its value in the equation of b1. We will get b1 equal to h divided by root 2 into b divided by h. h will be cancelled with h. We will get b1 equal to b divided by root 2. Now let's calculate h minus h1. The value of h1 is h divided by root 2. Take h outside of the equation. 1 minus 1 divided by root 2, we will get 0 0.293. So h minus h1 will be equal to 0 0.293h. Now we can easily calculate the distances yc and yt. First calculate the distance yc. The distance from the centroid to the apex of triangle is 2h divided by 3. We need to find the distance from the centroid to base that is yc. And we know that it is located at a distance of 1 by 3 of the total height. That is h divided by root 2. After calculation, yc will be equal to 0.236h. Now we need to calculate the distance yt from the trapezoid section. Let's consider the trapezoid having the a top and b is the bottom dimensions. The distance from the centroid to the top of the trapezoid will be equal to a plus 2b divided by a plus b into h by 3. In our case, we have calculated that a dimension that is b divided by root 2 and height of the trapezoid is 0.293h. 
After all the calculation, we will get yt equal to 0.155h. Now it is the time to calculate the plastic modulus. We already know that the area values and the distance yc and yt. The area of triangle is bh divided by 2 and 2 half is from the formula and to yc value is 0.236h and yt is 0.155h. By simplification, we will get ZP equal to 0.09775 into BH square. Let us calculate the shape factor. We have already calculated the value of plastic modulus and elastic modulus. By simplification, we will get the shape factor of triangle equal to 2.346. See you in the next video.